Hi, I'm Stan McMurtry. Uh, we just conducted a repair on a, a plumbing fixture in this pool. I'm going to demonstrate a couple other repairs that you can do with H2O glue aqua bonder. One is any pool guy out there has messed with the hydrostatic valve. It's a common repair. Leak detection, we find them all the time. They're stuck open with debris. Uh, sometimes we got to replace this one-way valve, and it's not going to it's not going to be able to go into the bottom of the sump uh, because the fitting's broken in the sump. So we repair that by remove the hydrostatic valve if possible. Uh, we're going to take your H2, H2O glue, uh, take a female threaded adapter, and we're going to take and bond it right to the bottom of the sump, which then gives you a brand new female threaded fitting in the bottom that you can put your hydrostatic valve in. So how we're going to conduct a repair like this, and it's simple as this, you can do this underwater, lay your part, and you're just going to shoot a bead of the material around the bottom. If you have the female hole left where you took the hydrostatic valve out, now you can shoot that around on the bottom and shoot a bead around. You're going to take that fitting and set it in right on top of where the hydrostatic valve fits. That time you can take your fingers, swipe it around, and bond it. If you can reach it in there and get it bonded, leave it set for 20 minutes. Okay, once the product's cured, you can take and go back and screw your hydrostatic valve in for a complete repair, and you're done. With this method, you might have the repair. The hydrostatic valve is going to sit up maybe an inch and a half higher than what it normally would. That's okay. It's not going to affect the performance of the main drain sump. Complete repair, brand new, and now you have a fitting to screw that back into. Another type of repair that's common in the sumps, if you have a sump area that has a crack in it, we can repair that with uh, fiberglass tape and the H2O glue aqua bonder. I'm going to show you how to mix this up on a mix board. And if you notice, I'm going to use the same tube that I just used for this repair. Uh, as that product's setting up, you might have to change out the mix nozzle. But in this case, we're not going to use a mix nozzle. We're going to use mix sticks and, and boards to create a patch that we're going to simulate crack, a crack repair in the bottom of the sump or the sides of the sump. Since our patch is going to be flexible, we can mold it however we need to mold it to get in and around that material. What we have here polypropylene mix boards. It's good to have two or three of these on hand if you're having to do several patches. Uh, there again polypropylene uh, scraper pads, spreaders. We're going to use that to smooth out and spread the patch in. We also have polypropylene mix sticks that we can do a flat or a radius if we need to. And I'm saying polypropylene because that's the only thing that this stuff's not going to stick to. You can reuse these, these parts. Uh, so to make up our patch to simulate this repair, what we're going to do is pull the nozzle off and we're going to shoot this material out on the board. We want a good bit of it we're going to use to soak up into the patch and we're going to cover both sides of that patch with this material. Use a mix stick, mix this up. So you don't see any color differential in both. Mix it. It's two-part mix. Get them blended good. Blends pretty easy. Just make sure you got any place that it could be sticking on the end of the the mix stick. Any place like that that's not mixed. Swirl it up. Rub it off. Get it mixed in there good. Now, we we'll take our spreaders. And I'm going to make a smooth bed to lay that patch down in. Get kind of even there. And it's as simple as this. Drop that fiberglass in that. Take a little bit left on your pad and spread it over. You're trying to bury that fiberglass mat in there. Get a nice even coat over it. It's not too hard. You might have some strings hanging out, but that's okay. Take your patch, pull it off. You're going to have a little bit of wasted material. 
and I'm going to show you that that's alright because you can use that before it sets up. Okay. Simulate having a crack right here on this board. We're going to lay the patch in. And this can be radius, it can be flat. Now, so as I said, we can use this extra material. We want to get a full body there patch and bury that in there. Spread it right down over top. And not too many swipes as it starts to set up. We want to leave it alone and just let it set. If you have any sharp edges, anything like that, you can take your smaller mix sticks and you can feather that in. If you want to smooth those edges out. This product's sandable. If you need to smooth these out even more, if you have a, if you're going to use this in a skimmer repair, you don't want to take a chance. Anybody, you know, cutting their fingers when they're getting down in there to put the basket in and out of the skimmer, you can take some uh, regular wet sandpaper and sand this product smooth. If there's any sharp little edges or little pieces of fiberglass thread sticking out, you can sand them right off. And if that looks like that's opening up where you sanded it, then you can do another smaller application right over top of that in a thin layer and seal it totally up. Product dries white, stays white, impermeable by the water, uh, chemical resistant. And for you in the field, you're conducting a repair uh, usually in a very small fraction of the time it would take to replace a skimmer or a main drain sump. Uh, you have savings as far as most of these repairs would have to have the water drained off of them. You can conduct every single one of these repairs wet now uh, using diving equipment and do it underwater. We've demonstrated several different repairs here, hydrostat repairs, simulated crack repairs and sumps. Uh, this, this flat application where we manufactured our own patches, this would also work in skimmer repairs and several other repairs around a fiberglass pool, things of that nature. Anything you need a radius, uh, you can take that flat patch and spread it into a radius and basically make your patch fit the damaged area.